Well, good morning. I'm reading from the book of Isaiah this morning, chapter 11. It says, And there shall come forth a rod out of the stem of Jesse. Remember, that's David's daddy. And a branch shall grow out of his roots. And the Spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the Spirit of wisdom and understanding, the Spirit of counsel and might, the Spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. And shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of the Lord. And he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes, neither reprove after the hearing of his ears, but with righteousness shall he judge the poor, and reprove with equity for the meek of the earth. And he shall smite the earth with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips shall he slay the wicked. Now that's a prophecy about the Lord Jesus Christ. And it's incredible. It tells us where he's going to come from as far as the messianic line uh, out of the stem of Jesse. And he tells us that the Spirit of the Lord is going to be on him. And, and the Spirit of the Lord is going to, going to uh, <clears throat> bring the spirit of wisdom to him and understanding. The spirit of counsel and of might. The spirit of knowledge and of the fear of the Lord. And he shall make him of quick understanding in the fear of the Lord. You remember, there's a, a passage in the New Testament that tells us that when Mary and Joseph and their entourage headed back to Nazareth after the feast in Jerusalem. They got gone a little ways and realized that Jesus wasn't with them. And so they had to turn around and go back and hunt him down. And they found him as a, a young boy sitting and talking, talking with the doctors of the law about the law of Moses. And so he was a, a, a very quick to understand the fear of the Lord. And it says, and he shall not judge after the sight of his eyes, neither reprove after the hearing of his ears. You know, that's the problem with even the best of judges in our day. You know, the, they, all they can do is, is hear, witness, and, and look at evidence. They don't have the ability to actually know the truth about what happened in many, many instances because they weren't there. But it says, but with righteousness shall he judge the poor and reprove with equity for the meek of the earth and he shall smite the earth with the rod of his mouth. The word of God is going to come forth out of the mouth of Jesus. <clears throat> and he says, and with, and with the breath of his lips shall he slay the wicked and righteousness shall be the girdle of his loins and faithfulness the girdle of his reins. Righteousness and faithfulness. These are the the hallmarks of the Lord Jesus Christ and who He is. And then He goes on to tell us what we have to look forward to. And this is incredible. The wolf also shall dwell with the lamb, and the leopard shall lie down with the kid, the calf and the young lion and the fatling together, and a little child shall lead them. And a cow <clears throat> and the bear shall feed their young ones, shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like an ox. And the suckling child shall play on the a uh, hole of the asp, and on the weaned child shall put his hand on the cockatrice's den. Then shall not hurt nor they shall not hurt nor destroy in all my holy mountain, for the earth shall be full of the knowledge of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. We are not there yet. We have never been there, <laughs> but we're going to be there. Now I know when you look around your world right now, if you have the Holy Spirit living in you. You mourn right now for what you see, for the hypocrisy that you see, for the lies and the deceit, for the fear, for the, the greed that is, is just rampant in our world right now. <clears throat> but you keep your eyes fixed on Jesus because He is going to prevail. It may not be tomorrow, it, it, it may not be, it, it, this, is, this is all in God's timing, but that's who He is. He is righteous and He is faithful. And that's where we're headed, to new heavens and a new earth, to a, a millennial kingdom where Christ rules the nations with a rod of iron, to a place where even the animal kingdom submits completely to His rule. Now that's exciting. I can get excited about that. I can rest in that and I can trust in that. I hope you have a great day.